everyone. Hi. Today I'm here with Shirley. Um, she wants to come over. I can see she that. Wants to cross over. I can see that. Go come on, Tracy. Go on. There you go. You can sit there. Yeah. So we got a few topics. I posted a link on the fan fun page for you guys to give me the topics that you want us to talk about. Di different topics so that to get our view or our conversation about specific topics. But I got a couple of things that I screenshotted on my phone that um, it's kind of like questions more more so that you guys can get to know Shirley and myself. And um, we are going to play one of those little, we're going to um, read some read some comments and um then we'll, her and i both will answer them did you ever go through that other riddle book i gave you did, yeah, there was we, some, we did did you get another one just like no, it or it's a different same, one? It's, a, oh. it's a different i mean it's the same one but there was something that you were going to look at one time that you had to study oh to see if I we could know. play it okay well you look while she's looking for that i'll look for this okay Oh, shout out. <laughs> oh, we want to do some Sharon, shout out. Sharon, Lindsay, Chad has been in the hospital almost two weeks. She had to get part of her bowel removed. Oh, no. B-O-W-E-L. I can't pronounce it. Um, she's in, she was in critical condition. She's still, she's stable, but she's in a lot of pain oh, because wow. there's only certain medicines that she can take for pain. She's if y'all want to follow her and follow her story, that would be a, a good idea because that, that way you you could um, learn more about her. She had an accident on a horse when she was 11 years old and she's um, missing a lot of parts. <laughs> she's um, in a wheelchair and um, just wheeling, I forgot what her thing is. Well, I'll you find can, it. um, if they follow Shirley, Shirley can refer you to her. Yeah, and she's one of Marie's, um, um, she's Sharon, put your, put your link in, Sharon. She's a big uh, fan. The, she's, um, the Sunday night thing. Yeah. She wasn't even on there then because, um, she has hurt so bad. Aww. And Megan's got problems. I don't know if you want me to tell them, Megan. Then no, I better not tell them. She's just got health issues. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have 30 people on Shirley and I's card reading. How many of you guys watched the card oh, reading? Yeah, that was good. Um, I got 30 people. We're going to do shout outs to all those 30 people. Jan Wagner, Donna M, Zella C, Sue E, Sue E, Zella C, Zella C, Esperanza, Sandy S, Jan. Bata. Let's see who answered, who replied to Bata. Shirley. <laughs> who, me? Yeah, you. Ronald Aww. Daly. We have Peggy M. Some of them are repeats. I'm going to pass those repeats. We have Tim. Barbara Long. Linda Sammons. Rose Ann M. Carmen R. April H. Ugly Girl. Maximus M. Shout out to all of you guys. Those were the, um... You read 30? Well, I skipped a couple because a couple oh, of them are the same okay, people. Okay, gotcha. Um, shout out to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for, for watching the video, supporting my channel. I appreciate that. Now we're going to get into some questions. Um, we're just going to go down the line and we will, um, answer some crazy stuff. Different topics. So, um... This is for Shirley and, and myself both. It says, what is the craziest or most out of character thing you've ever done? Oh, gee, you go first. Oh, God, I get to go first? Yeah, because I can't think. Um, God, I don't know either. I can't think either, guys. I've, I've done a lot of crazy things in my life. I do some crazy stuff like on, on location when we're filming. Um, I know I, in, in Covington, Georgia, um, I was dared because somebody was playing some music and I was dared to twerk and I did. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a crazy thing, but, but these questions are new to us. It's not like we read them and we studied what we were going to answer. So that's what I can think of for now. And I mean, if I think back, the, one of the craziest things I've ever done, I hitchhiked everywhere as a teenager. I should not even be alive because I hitchhiked everywhere. I did a lot of crazy stuff when I was a teenager. I can think. So we'll think that. 
I can think of some stupid shit I've done. Well, it's crazy. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Stupid, crazy? Stupid, crazy. Okay. I think it was crazy that I did what I did to the poor man. That you left your husband? Yeah. That was crazy. Bullshit. I was going through the change of life. This is my excuse now. This is my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through the change of life. I was 50. And, um, Vince wasn't very, I don't know how we ended Lovable. up with, I don't know how we ended up with Bobby and Billy, but anyhow, Vince was, um, not very, um, Sexual. he had, he had issues from, <laughs> yeah, he had issues from his childhood. Yeah. He was abused, sexually abused, by his mother. That was horrible. Yeah. Who could go through that in life and still come out in a loving he was lovable and sweet and everything. He just, the, the touchy-feely stuff, he he had that shit in his mind from what his mother did to him. Wow. He was, he's dead, I mean, I could say it now. I mean, nobody on here knows, I mean, my family knows him, but anyhow. He was sexually abused because y'all, some, some of you might have been sexually abused, I don't know. But um, he was sexually abused when he was five years old. He was in the garage with his cousin and they were doing the uh, five year old thing. Let me see yours, you see mine. And his mother come in there and caught him and she said, don't you ever touch a girl like that again. You will die and go to hell. And what she did to make it sexual, she took a hot lard and rubbed it on his Oh my thing. God, you never told me that before. That's I'm, awful. That is awful. And I, and I, I, I mean, he told me this in the very beginning, and I said, Vince, you need to go get counseling. Then he was embarrassed. He wouldn't go get counseling. And then, and then, um, John had a similar, um, issue when he was a child. Besides his father being abusive to him, his, uh, brother and his, um, he was five years old, or maybe eight, I don't know, he was young, he was probably five. His uh, brother was eight years older than him, and uh, they, they gang banged him, yeah. his brother, and he was too scared to tell his parents because he knew what his dad, because his dad was a business, his dad Is would have killed. Is this his brother that's not allowed back in the state? Yeah. His, oh his, his dad would have killed his brother, literally killed him. Damn. So this is something, I don't know what so made you're me, sorry uh, what made me talk about this, but somebody needs to hear this. I don't know who it is, but you know when you feel in your gut to say something? But she wasn't happy, Shirley. Well, no, I wasn't happy, and but I should have been. I should have, um, but I was going through the change, and that'll fuck with your uh, hormones and your brain. And then I met John, and well, and then it was funny though, it's Vince, um, what's the sexual type? Okay, but uh, John was the only thing, this is really personal, you don't even have to post it, I don't care. It's nothing, nobody's gonna, nobody from Vince's side, nobody from John's side is gonna hear it. Yeah. And it might need some, might, somebody might need to hear it. But anyhow, it was funny though, it was my karma because I left my karma, now listen to this, talk about karma, you ain't got to a karma question, but this is my karma. Vince um, could like perform whatever, but um, he, he couldn't because of his trauma. Now John, he wanted to, but he couldn't or something like that. It was, it was my karma. I go from one yeah. to the other. Grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs> Definitely okay. not always green. Because Shirley got personal this time. Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, Are you somebody, ready? Yeah, somebody ready need, for the next question? Somebody <laughs> needed to hear that. I don't know who. Oh, Put in a comment God. or send me a personal message. That's what funny. Oh, I'll just bring one too. What, honey? I'll just bring one to give my phone. You want a what? I'm going to bring one that I want to say. Oh, you can okay. say it. I can cut it out. The time you, you left Daddy and grew up to see uh, uh, Joe Burke. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 oh, my son just reminded me of that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, when, when I was having problems with, between 
Vince and John, and I was feeling guilty oh, for uh, Where the other ones? <laughs> what? Where were the other ones? <laughs> Later, I'll find Yeah, you better, because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, don't tell all my secrets, Dan. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta tell them. Okay, no, but this is my ex husband. <laughs> my girl's daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Sheila watches this. Never mind. <laughs> Sheila, you know about this crap. Sherry does too. That I let when I ran away, and you know, you, they say you can't never run away from your problems. Well, that's the truth. It is. And the truth. In 1998, I tried to run away from Ben and John, <laughs> and I went back to Joe. <laughs> that was a mistake. Was Joe separated from Sandy when you went back to him? He was um, separated from his second and third wife. The second and he was in between. Wait a minute, hold on. I was his first. Sandy was his second. Then he married this other lady named Stella or something, uh, twice. So he was separated from her the second time. I don't know. And then the van broke down, you had to get towed back. That was a mistake too. What? So the van broke down, you had to get towed back. Oh yeah, I was, yeah, when I, I ran away in the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> oh, 1998, God. September of 1998. And then the van broke down in, um, what, not Ocala, but the one up from Ocala. Uh, Gainesville? Yeah. But in a, in a town called Reddick. Oh, I know where that is. R E D I C K. It's D D. Yeah. Red but, Dick. Yeah, That's I what know. I thought it was. I know. But you, but you pronounce it. I've Reddick. been there before. I've been there. <laughs> I had and somebody told me you were saying it wrong. That's not how you say it. <laughs> it's called Reddick. Yeah. But I was saying it. I didn't know. I didn't been there before. <laughs> Anyhow, I broke down there and um, Vince had to bring a tow truck to pull my van home. And Joe came from Fountain to um So Red both of your exes came to me. <laughs> oh Shirley's got Oh problems. this is gonna be about Shirley and her exes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 mercy. She's getting frisky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her some frisky questions. There are some frisky questions. Oh really? Here. And I jumped the gun and answered them. Don't get worried about my life, bro. Huh? One day we'll do my life. We'll do Billy wants to do his life story one day. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We will. Okay. We will. All right. Your turn. <laughs> no, I already said my piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit fire, Shirley. <laughs> and save the mess. That's a good one. I know. All right. So what is your favorite thing about this city? Um, it's cheaper to live here. John said it's cheaper tax-wise. Uh, property tax wise. Okay, well, my my end of town, my city, the taxes are not cheap. How much is yours? 1800 dollars 1900 a year. Yes. But this, but you got a house and a pool and yeah. stuff. I only got a mobile home. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. So your favorite <laughs> your thing, favorite thing is the taxes. My favorite thing is it's close to my mom's grave. And I do it's, love it over um, here. You know, when I first moved here, it was very reasonable. Luckily, we bought our house in 2018 because now the prices of houses have tripled. So my $148,000 house is now worth over $300,000. So crazy. Um, so, you know, my favorite thing about being here is being close to Shirley and um, it being warm. I, although I hate, the evening. Yeah. Although I hate the heat, the real hot heat. I do love it in Florida. Oh, because we're on the main drag called US 19 Commercial Way, and you can just go out and you can just, they've got little side roads um, in the middle of the plazas. You can just get on that side road, or whatever it's called, it's got a name, and just ride down there. You don't have to be on your, have you seen us? Yeah. We took y'all riding. <laughs> We took y'all riding. All right, yeah. we'll jump to the next one. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> Probably a lot of stuff. Oh, I got it. I don't care who's watching this. I have a relative, and it's not a daughter or a son or a sister, <laughs> but I do have a relative that thinks she is perfect. You can't even tell her anything. Where she just, just talks trash. I mean, 
She thinks it's right. She thinks it's the battle. I just don't like it. a person that thinks they're better than you that, are. Oh, I don't like that either. Uh, that's that's our grandma was like that. And that related to her. <laughs> our grandma side of the family. She'd smile to your face and then talk about you behind your back. Yes, horrible behind your back. I mean, if she's talking like that about those people that she don't even really know. Yeah. What's she saying about us? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So if you're watching this, cousin. Get that part out. I don't mean shit. Leave it in. I'm sick of it. Yeah. It's not right. Maybe you just need to stop talking to her. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe. My biggest pet peeve, I have a couple too. Um, I I like things done a certain way at my house. You know? <laughs> Tell it, Billy. <laughs> I like, if, if you come to my house and you're going to cook, or whatever, <laughs> you live in my house and you're going to cook, Clean your damn mess up. Clean it up the way I would clean it up. I have a big pet peeve clean it like about that. Here. Huh? Clean no, it like don't clean it here. like you live here. Clean oh. it like I like it. Oh. I hate that. If if somebody decides to make a whole gourmet in the kitchen and then I, they don't clean up. They clean half ass and then I have to come back and I didn't get any of the food. Pisses me yeah. off. Yeah, I don't blame it. Pisses me off. But I have. That's 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 all I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, then you're done. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you could relive one day from the past, which would it be and why? Oh, I got it. Go ahead. I want to relive the day that I, this bothers me. I might cry. <laughs> Aw. Mm, you, you tell them something. You. I, will, I will tell them. Okay, but so if I could relive one day Let's see. If I could live, relive one day from the past, God, it would be it would be a week before my mom died. I would make sure she went to the doctor. Maybe she wouldn't have. Maybe she wouldn't have had that stroke. That's a maybe good one. she wouldn't have died. Um, That's a good one. I would have to say I should say more than a week. I should say a month before because then I could have got her to doctors. Um, I wish that I, you know, I wish that back then that that I had made lots of money that I could have taking my mom to the doctor and helped pay her way to the doctor because she didn't have insurance she couldn't afford to go to the doctors and her words said that if I get sick I'll just have to die and that breaks my heart and that's gonna make me cry okay the one that's gonna make me cry and then we'll try not to was the day I well, I can still picture it it haunts me the day <coughs> I told Vince, I can't do it. You can't do it? It's okay. You want to skip this question? No, I want to tell him. It's a, okay, I'll just tell you. Yeah, I'm not going to look at you, but I'll tell you. Okay. okay, if the day I told Vince he was sitting in the recliner in the living room, and I said, I don't love you anymore, I want the divorce. That was the stupidest mistake I ever made in my life. I wish I could go back and change that day. Aww. I feel he's very joy, probably. I can see his face. He said, well, what about me? <laughs> I said, well, I don't care about you, but I did. Aww. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I did such a stupid thing. But you live and learn the hard way. He said he, later on in life, he said he forgave me, but... It was hard to forgive myself. Yeah, it is hard to forgive yourself. I'm sorry yeah. that you went through that. I guess we've all did that. What did you say you were dead about, Mama? I would just like to go back to the... Uh, if I would knew. actually like to go back a month before. Yeah, me too. If we then knew. I can help yeah. my Mama. I no. can help her. I'm sitting there and she's trying to talk to me and y'all make me leave. That's oh, Grandma? Right before you died. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, that bothers me, Henry. I mean, I had to go. Y'all say, "Cool, cool." You know, cause he was young, and we had to sneak him in. We had to sneak me. Billy in. Cause he was young, and she was she couldn't talk because she had the stroke. So she just motioned with her hands, and he said she was motioning for him to come over there to. Um, she wanted to try to get him. No, none of us could read lips. 
And she couldn't talk for the whole five months or five and a half months that she was in there. And she, her eyes got so big, <laughs> like you could tell she wanted to say something to you. That's one thing too. I wish I wish we had a um, not um, put Mama in the nursing home. That's the truth. But uh, Marie had two little kids. I had I don't know why. But I guess somebody would have had something smart to say. I don't know. Okay. Are okay. you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Let's let's move on. We don't want to be sad. Don't get no more emotional ones. It's okay. not funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going down the line. <laughs> if you could have any talent in the world, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> what talent would you like oh, to have, sister? <laughs> Can you think of a talent you would um, Huh? I would like to be able to sing. Be a cat. Be a cat. I would like to be able to sing. Oh, when I was a teenager, I wanted to be a dancer. Oh, there you go. There. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You want to go dancing? Uh, I was skinny too back then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to sing, and she what? See, she'll dance to my singing. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let me see here. Well, shit fired. I lost it. What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? I have some weird dreams all the time. Do you? I had weird dreams when I was on that one antibiotic that the doctor put me on for my kidneys. But not all the time. I don't remember them if I do. Oh, okay. I should, I should, um, I would say every year I'm going to make me a dream diary. Oh, but yeah. I never do. I know. I wish I did that too. Definitely wish I did that too. So a weird dream. I guess my weird dream would be the last one that I told you guys about, and I'm trying to think of what it even was. I can't remember. Do you remember? No. It didn't mean what what I dreamt. I don't know. Yeah, I'll remember because I don't remember. I can't remember. Can you remember one your weird dream or? No, because I always have weird dreams and I forget them when I wake up. Uh, yes, yeah, start a start a dream journal. Oh yeah, I need to. If you could travel anywhere in the, in a time machine, oh. what year would you choose and I why? I got that one. Go ahead. I would go back to 1966. Oh wow! Because I kept a diary from a teenager. Wait a minute, I was a teenager in '66. But anyhow, I used to keep a diary, but for some reason, I don't know what happened in 1966, but I didn't keep a diary. Oh, wow. And a lot of things happened that I would love to go back and, um, see. You were the probably date. 18. I was 18. Yeah. I guess I've been. Oh, wow. If I could go back in a time machine, I would go back to 1985. I would go back oh, and, yeah, and take care of Mama. I would, I would, man, I was Mama's baby, and I, I don't know, I would go back and try to help Mama, try to make her go to the doctor, try to work my ass off to give her money so that she could go to the doctor. She went to a free clinic in St. Pete, but, what's it, St. Pete? By a lake. But, um, they didn't do that much. She got blood pressure medicine from them. Yep. Now you can't even get blood pressure medicine. You have to go to the heart doctor. Like, my regular doctor won't give me blood pressure medicine. I have to go to the heart doctor. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, if you could... Oh, did you did you say where you would go in a I time said Oh, that's right. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Uh, 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 uh. I want a facelift. I don't want to be fat anymore. <laughs> she wants to be skinny. Yeah. And I'll take a facelift because I can exercise and lose weight. I just want my facelift. Yeah, she don't up. need to lose that much. How much does it say you're supposed to weigh? I don't know. 130. She don't have that much to lose. I got okay. twice or three times as much to lose. Alright, what one what's one of the most fun childhood memories you have? Uh, I love going to um deep sea fishing with daddy. Oh yeah. 
me I and do. Mama. I loved all my birthday parties that Mama had with me and all my friends. She would line us up down the wall yeah, and we would be from size. The, you know, <laughs> the tallest to the lowest and she would take pictures of us. Yeah. Someday I'll have to find those pictures and, and post them, but I loved my birthday parties that Mama had for me. Okay. Wake up. What makes you something go down my shirt? What makes you unique? Her looking down her shirt. Just kidding. <laughs> that makes you unique? No. What I makes you I'm unique? Wrong. Well it makes me unique, yes. My person yeah. She's blunt. That makes her unique. I do not act my age. How, how does a 74 I don't act my age either. Well, how does a 74 year old person supposed to act? I don't know. You don't know how third or lab rule you are. We ah. just we just speak our piece and we don't. I mean, I don't even think I dress like a 57 year old. You know, I sure don't dress like a 74 year no. old. No, uh huh. So we're both unique and. Um, um, I get up every day. I won't leave the house without without eyeliner and um, my face cream, my tightening face I cream. I can't do that. Did you do the face cream? Mm -hmm. If you do it every day, you'll feel a difference. Okay. Okay. So, what are some random fun facts about yourself? Fun facts about you. They know I'm funny. <laughs> yep, you are okay. funny. <laughs> Do they know we're a night out? Do they know I'm a night out? Yep. Random fun fact. She's funny well, and she's a night fun. out. That ain't funny. I'm a cat lover. <laughs> you know that. I don't know. What some random fun What makes you laugh during the day? Well, I can tell you one that pisses me off. <laughs> Alright, what pisses you off during the day? <laughs> when I'm trying to sleep in heat. I'm in and out that door. What? Like? Shining on me, that door right yeah. there. If I'm facing the wall, it don't matter. But if I'm facing this way, I can be sound asleep and that door comes open, I'm oh, wide awake. Shit. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, well that's a random um, fact. That's a random pissed off fact about what was the question? What was the question? It was some random fun facts. Oh, about that wasn't fun. Fun facts. That she likes fun. to play video games. Oh, yeah. The, I play video games all the time. I'm on the computer. If I'm not asleep, I'm on the computer. And my fun facts, I like to go make videos. I like to go to, I like to go to the beach, but I don't like to lay in the sun. I like to go watch the sunset um, or just go walk along the beach when it's cool out or um, go kayaking. So I have some fun facts. Okay. Let me, let me, do you know any jokes? You know do a I? joke? No, not offhand. Not offhand? Do you? No. Oh, What's I... your favorite place on earth? Sleeping. <laughs> In her bed. In my bed. Oh, shit fire. And my favorite bedded. place on earth is with my family. Yeah, that's true. Who are the special people in your life? That's my funny. family and my, my cat. family. Yep. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Well, I want to be skinny. <laughs> I need some teeth. <laughs> All the stuff I could buy. Well, I can't buy skinny, but I guess I can eat right. Uh, what would I? What's the other question? Three things I wish for. Three wishes. I need a car. What you would wish for? I want a car. So she wants a car. I she want wants that SUV. Yeah. And what was the other one? I want some teeth. And she wants some teeth. Shirley, why didn't you just wish to be a billionaire? I you could have done everything. Okay. I want to be a billionaire. She can do it for <laughs> me. I want to be a billionaire. I want to help people. I I, I want to. I want to help there be no more homeless people. Um. And then the third thing. What oh yeah, your facelift. Well, I want my facelift, but if I have all that money, I'll, I, if I have a billion dollars, I will hey, have a facelift. Hey, if I have a billion dollars, I would go get a complete damn makeover. Yeah. I would get a tummy tuck, a, a booby stand-upper, <laughs> a stand-upper, a booby lift, and I would get a facelift. 
I would get it all, but I just would wish for a billion dollars. Yeah, I'm not a And I would thing. wish that there was no more homeless people, and I would wish that nobody ever had to starve. I wish Billy would win the lottery. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. The most he's ever won is two thousand dollars. That's really good. I've never won that. Wow. Why Billy? You already ate some more money? Yeah, I've been cat. All right, here's a serious one, Shirley. Oh, God. Are we ready? Not yeah. yet. What would you rather throw away? Love or money? Love. Love. Billy said love. <laughs> How much money are we talking? <laughs> I don't know. You want to we're talking away? that billion dollars? Love or money? <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. it depends on how much money it well, is. Well, you know what? If you throw away love, money, money they say money can't buy love, but let me tell you something. Money does buy love. Yeah, I could buy a lot of shit. I don't... Oh. <laughs> on that card reading the other day that y'all watched, it said something about a stupid-ass man and my life coming. Bullshit. Oh. I do not want no damn man in my oh. life. <laughs> Call my ass. <laughs> no, Billy. If I had to choose, do not bring a man over here. If I had to choose to stay and take care of her and take a bunch of money, then that'd be hard. But <laughs> <laughs> he would take the damn money and run. I know he would. Would, would. would. And would you hire me somebody? To no, I would come back and get you. <laughs> come back where? And get you. <laughs> come back and get you. Oh, okay. Pop here. Pop. All right. <laughs> what is the most beautiful place you've ever seen? Oh, let me think. Well, when we went to Tennessee, that's beautiful out there. Yes, Tennessee is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. but I can't think of anything in particular. Well, beautiful thing that I've ever seen, we talked about this before, too, was the witnessing the birth of a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I witnessed the birth of my grandson, Brian, and you witnessed the birth of all of yours. All of them, yep. But wow. that's the only thing I could think of. That's a miracle. I think waterfalls are beautiful. Yeah, they are. Oh, that was a pretty a waterfall. waterfall where you took me. Yes. Um, took us. But yeah, the birth of the, the grandchildren was probably the most beautiful. Most yeah. be well, but this is the most beautiful place, not oh, person. place. Oh, place. Okay. So I would say the, the waterfalls waterfall. are beautiful. Yeah. Um, she took me Tennessee to a beautiful, was beautiful. one. Tennessee beautiful. Yeah, Swallow Tennessee. Falls, guys. And Mar it's in Oakland, Maryland. Swallow Falls. Look it up. Okay, so what is your fondest fondest memory of high school. I hated that damn. Oh, I don't know when I want some fondest memory. Oh, shit. I got it. I Here got we it. go. January the 18th, 1966, when I quit school, <laughs> I called daddy and had, he said, I'll come sign you out, but you gotta get, you gotta get a job. I said, okay, find me one. Damn it, he found me one. It was a waitress. I loved it though. Nora, wow. I see, Lowry's Restaurant on um what the heck is this? Betty Lane. Betty One Lane. day we're gonna take a trip over there and shit. Yeah. Sightsee. Yes. So my fondest memory of high school, I had a best friend. Her name was Angela Marie. And um that's I named my daughter after her. Did you really? Well yeah, I love the name. So yeah, not particularly after her but, but that's cool, it was though. after her. Yeah. Um yeah. So um let's see. What is your favorite TV show? I don't watch TV. You mean back when I did watch TV? I guess so. I like Dr. Pimple Popper. Dr. Pimple Popper? Yeah. What the hell was that? Y'all don't watch Dr. Pimple Popper? I never even heard of it. <laughs> do y'all watch Dr. Pimple Popper? What do you do? Pop pimples? She does. What? That's gross. My, our mother loved popping pimples. Did you know that? No, I don't. When think me and I Joe know. was teenagers, we had pimple boys. She chased them all around the damn house. Kelly likes it. Okay, that's she so takes crazy. That to grandma. Tell her she takes that to grandma. You know, um, I found the letter that Sherry wrote me when she joked about Mama. You I, did. I found. I was sitting on the end of my bed reading it yesterday. Well, wasn't it? Which one was it? Um, about Danny. Well, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, didn't you know that he date then the year? I don't, I don't know if there was a date on it, oh. but it was, Haley was going to be born, so it was somewhere around 2000. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said that. Before. Yeah. Okay, so, what's the strangest thing in your refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> I love 
Let me go. Oh my god. I let know me go it's look. mine and it's not even mine. Huh? Do what? The strangest thing in my refrigerator, guys, is it's Haley's. And it is it's a pain medication that you slip up your butt. And you have to keep it in the refrigerator. They gave it to her for something. I can't remember. Um and it's like a a butt well, it's, not, it's not a laxative then. It's not a it's a pain medication. Like, you know, I guess pain medication if you if you put it in your butt it kicks you down. Wow. It's some kind of pain medication that I noticed it was still in there when I cleaned the refrigerator out. Well John day. had some um medicine in the refrigerator it's still in there because no, Billy said, what's this shit? I said, it's a laxative, Billy, stick one up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got a laxative yeah. and I have a pain medication. <laughs> oh, that's so Yeah, funny. I want the strange thing in your refrigerator. We want to know. Yeah, we now. do. All right, everyone. We are going to end our video today. Shirley's starving. She went out to the kitchen to get her lasagna out of the oven. And, I um, love you. We will see you guys on the next video. Let us know what's in your refrigerator. Peace. Yeah. If you look at the thermometer in my bathroom window, you'll tell the difference. Yeah. I got a thermometer in my bathroom window. It'll be like the normal temperature in there. Let me see if I let me see if I need to put my day job. Off the, um, hey Shirley, quit your day job. <laughs> Blooper. You get to try it again. Ready, guys? One, two, three. God dang it! <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. <laughs> Ready, sister? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Well, I'm going out for the basketball. Yeah. She missed it, guys. Three times, sister. Well, Come on. Like My need, leg hurts. You need to practice your basketball My skills. My leg hurts. I'm going to buy you a I basketball need, thing. I didn't even comb my hair. We don't need no cat. And I got a haircut, too, people. We it looks no beautiful. Cat. Do you want me to get you a brush, or are you just going to leave That's it? That's a brush right there. No, we don't need no cat. Okay. What, Billy? We don't need no cat. It's probably probably teach you to talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the cat's getting tired of Paul. Look how he's posing over there. Totally. I know, I've seen that. Look. Is that bear or panther? Panther. A <laughs> bear. Is it bear? <laughs> yeah. Where's panther? But he, he wants to, panther's been wanting to sleep with me at night. Well, he won't, but he won't sleep. He just wants to go over here and let him petting. All right. Well, people. Lots of bloopers. Lots of bloopers, but I'm telling you, I don't feel good. I didn't put a bra on. I didn't comb my hair. I didn't put no shoes on. My leg hurts. So I got Marie and I are trying to figure out if it's sciatica. Or I think it is sciatica. It's right here in the hip joint, right there. And just, but it radiates down from the leg. I get it. Like if I'm sitting at my computer for too long, guys, and I'm editing a video. When I stand up, it is so painful, and that's what she's ex trying to say happens to her. So when she lays down and props her legs up, it's not as bad. So she told me yesterday she was sleeping her life away. So I come over today to wake her up. Get up, get up, get up! But she, but her leg hurts, and I the feel leg so bad. The leg. It didn't help when I rented that car for three days. Climb it up and down. In and out, in and out. Only thing is, but I used this leg to get in with. But this leg hurts. I got oh, to pull it. I don't, I mean, it could have had something to do what, with... Billy? It could have had something to do with the Billy's car. Billy's cooking maybe the lasagna, not. so keep going. And we got the fans on, so it's, um, it's too it's noisy. I'm here. sorry. It's very hot it's in here. It's very right hot now. in here. You didn't need that other fan. Okay. So today, guys, did we even do an intro? Now, hello everybody, we did some bloopers in the beginning.